science of photography starts with understanding of exposure triangle so what is a triangle it has three sides okay the exposure triangle has shutter aperture and iso as its sides the three parameters must balance each other to achieve the correct exposure okay so what is the importance of exposure triangle exposure triangle is important because it is solely responsible for giving you the correct exposure okay so what is exposure for all those people who are rank beginners i will come to it later okay so as you can see in the slide this is like aperture on this side which gives you the aperture diameter and then how it impacts depth of field you have shutter here on the left hand side and how it impacts the motion and you have iso okay right so more of it later each topic each parameter is, is going to be dealt in greater details as an individual topic so just now i want to remember that exposure triangle is responsible for giving you the correct exposure okay ladies and gentlemen this is yeah okay let me come to that in the subsequent slide first let me cover what i just said exposure when your camera captures the scene same as you see with your naked eyes then it is called the correct exposure okay whatever you see with your eyes in terms of light i'm talking about okay whatever you see with your eyes when your camera is able to capture the same lighting conditions then it is called a correctly exposed image otherwise we call it over exposure as you can see in the right hand side picture here okay if the light is too bright it is called over exposure and if the picture is too dark then it is called under exposure fine the correct exposure the picture of the oriental dove kingfisher with the skink in its beak okay is in the center and why is it called the correct exposure because that is what you are uh, uh, seeing through your naked eyes that is how the scenario was lit in terms of light the quantity of light okay so as a photographer it is very important that you get the exposure right in camera you should not rely on post processing for tweaking or manipulating your exposure okay you cannot be a slave of photoshop post processing can make a good picture better not a bad picture good you have to remember that so as a photographer at least you should get the exposure right in camera and that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is precisely what i am going to teach you on the proposed sunday webinar the title of the online photography workshop is learn cameras manual mode in 60 minutes flat right if you dedicate 1 hours of your time this coming sunday i am going to teach you how to get out of auto mode of your camera once and for all and start shooting in manual mode by understanding the science of photography exactly the exposure triangle which i just spoke about shutter aperture and iso everything will be dealt in great detail with live shoots and examples yes there would be live demonstrations so that you understand all the concepts once and for all so the question is are you ready because the webinar is lined up for this coming sunday it's going to be absolutely free for members of this group i only need your confirmation and your commitment